Um, cause I don't, it, cause they're obviously, they obviously don't see these raptors as a, a path. Oh shit! Where did, how the hell did she get up here? Oh! They, oh, they got her way up on the roof! Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days Down, Alpha 21.1. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Des Dead series. Uh, we are uh, on, still on day six, and I am working on a plan, <coughs> excuse me, for Horde Night 7. Basically, uh, all the zombies are very sinful, and so they're going to have to come to church on Horde Night and repent of their sins uh, as they try to um, eat me and murder me and all that sort of thing. So, basically... Yeah, they need to confess their sins first and then turn around and sin again by killing innocent little old me. But I don't think they give a shit about that one way or the other. That's just the way zombies are. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so uh, I figured, yeah, let's try something in the church. I don't think I've ever actually used a church in this game um, for, uh, you know, for a horde night. So um, we're going to kind of go with a an obstacle course kind of idea. Uh, the one thing I'm not sure about is if Zeke's will actually path across here. I'm assuming they will. And so I'm going to kind of make like a little obstacle course thingy along the uh, rafters here uh, uh, to get over to there. And then when we get over there, we'll have to figure out some kind of, um, oh, a combat uh, chamber type of thing that I'll stand in to take them out uh, with the ability to, you know, pull a trap door kind of idea out from underneath them if I feel like we're getting overwhelmed. Uh, so that is the basic idea. I am totally, you know, making this up as I go. So um, who knows how it'll actually turn out. I guess we'll find out uh, when Horde Night is upon us. Uh, so I'm still, you know, making this up as I go. Like I said, still kind of trying to figure it out. And um, so what I think I'll do at this point is I'll, uh, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's actually back, uh, or yeah, let's go to here. Um... I'll just kind of keep working on this and oh, damn it. Damn it, Jim. You know, um, there are some Zeke's outside. So why don't we actually uh, test this and see if we can get it to work. Okay, how do you guys, how are you guys going to get in here? Because I had to jump through the window. I guess they just want to come through the front door, so sure, let's help them out here. Um, yeah, I want to actually test this and see uh, if it'll work. The pathing in particular. Okay, we'll let them break the rest of that, and we'll go up here. And just kind of walk out onto the rafters and see if they'll come this way. Okay. Uh, while we're waiting for them to do their thing, uh, what we're going to need to do here is put in a side piece. I can't. Oh, can I? Yeah, I can reach over to there. Okay, good. So I think what I want to do here then is put this around to there. Okay, now um, let's jump onto here. And we gotta take this piece out and put an L, an L shape in here. Looks like the Zombo's lost interest in us. Okay, so they get to here. And I think I can break this out without it falling. We're going to find out here in a second. Yep. Okay. And then, uh, no, that needs to be the other direction. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So now we need some more straight pieces and let's go ahead and drop down here. 
All right, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let's go one more there. I'm not going to upgrade any more of these quite yet because I have to decide how this is going to go. In fact, why don't we do this again? So copy that shape, copy that rotation. And then, right, that goes like that. Let's see, what am I going to do here? I'm thinking now maybe what we do is we make them go up on the roof, maybe. But I'll tell you what, before we go any further, let's see if we can get one of these dudes to, or dudettes as the case may be, to come chase us. Maybe they can't get through this part. All right, let's shoot Darlene. Okay, come get me, Darlene. Over here. Okay, she's nice and softened up now. Okay. should be able to just come right on up the stairs. Uh, up the stairs, darling. You really can't find that path up here? Hmm, that's a problem. Um. Why, why can't you find the path up here? All right. We might have to help them out a little bit. Can she find it if I stand up here? Come on, darling. Come on, get on the stairs. I know Zombos can path up these spiral stairs. I've seen him do it many times. Dummy. Okay, that's a little concerning. Um, I guess though the question to be is the Blood Moon Horde smart enough to figure out that pathing? Path Doesn't seem to me like it should be that complicated. Come here, Ronald McDonald. Come get me, bro. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is a problem. Oh, there he goes. Come on, Ronnie. Come get me. Can't you get out on that ledge, bro? <laughs> um, all right. We might need to make the initial path off the balcony a little easier for them. Of course, he moves right when I release the arrow. Okay, he's dead. Let's, um... Let's leave him there for a second. And what I'm going to do is make this path at least out to the beam a little easier for them. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay. That is a definite solid pathway to get to me. Come on, Tom. Come get me. Come get me, bro. Don't hit stuff. Go up the stairs. Yo, this way. OK, 
Okay, now he's coming up the stairs. Oh shit. I fell off. Hmm. Did he even start to come up the stairs? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Come this way, brah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess... I guess the Blood Moon Horde would have to be a little smarter than that. You mean you'd think so anyways, right? Okay. Everybody else out here? So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to continue on. And if the Blood Moon Horde doesn't, you know, isn't smart enough to come to me, then that's their problem, not mine. And, again, I think the, I think the church could... St could withstand a Horde Knight 7. It'll take some damage, but I don't think they'll bring the whole building down. Could be wrong about that. Not likely, though. So, what we're going to do, then, is we're going to continue what we started over here. Now, I could... Hmm, I wonder if they would actually try to jump from there over to here. I don't know. We could remove the cross and have our little chamber in here. Or we could make it even more of an obstacle course for them and make them, you know, run up uh, or have to climb up a ladder to get onto the roof kind of idea. But if we're on the roof, though, then we're not going to see the action in here. So I kind of don't like that idea. All right. So let's, let's remove the cross here and then we're going to make our you know, uh, our fighting chamber in this uh, little section here. Oh, wow. There's more to that cross than meets the eye. Okay, so we'll put the trap door there. And then what we're going to do is make ourselves a little chamber through this wall. We may have to extend it out a little bit, too. Put that there. Okay. Um, I wonder if we made a direct... path into that room if that would encourage them to just go right right to the stairs. I don't know. Okay, so here of course is then where we make our stand. And um, because it's just a Horde 7, I think we'll be okay with just a hatch. Um, however, I'll probably will upgrade it to an iron hatch. And then we can just fight him here, and then, you know, if we feel like we're getting overwhelmed, we just reach down and make him fall through the door. So it's pretty simple design, but I think it'll probably work. And then, like I said, if we feel like we're getting overrun, um, you know what, though? This actually isn't the best scenario here. What I think we should do instead is... Make a couple of ladders. Ah, shit. I need some stones. Okay, well, we need to go home and make ourselves a hammer anyway. Uh, but, again, the idea is that if we get overrun, or are about to get overrun, we can run out here and just hop up the ladder to get on through the roof and then hopefully survive the rest of the horde night. Um, okay, so I think we have a, our plan of attack now. It's just a matter of 
upgrading. And Oh, okay, so he he came up there, but he jumped off. He didn't path along the rafters. Let's see if Jan uh, Yo does that. Why doesn't he see that as a pathway? I don't get it. All right, let's go over here. Come at me, bro. Okay, if we removed that board there, then would they come out here? Hmm. I don't know. All right, well, here. Let's, uh... Get the hell out of here. And I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to make myself a hammer. Get some materials. And then we'll come back and, and up, do some upgrading. You must be feral, man. It's taking forever to kill him. Yep, 1,574 XP. He was indeed feral. Okay, um, let's see. We were gonna make. We need to make two duct tape. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of mining too. Uh, we got glue and we got. Wait a minute. Hold on. Duct tape. Oh, tent. That's right. They, they increase the. Uh, cloth recipes for everything pretty much that requires cloth it seems like. Well, I don't know if it's everything, but it's a lot of stuff. Alright, so <clears throat> let's make the, our claw hammer here. And I'm gonna need to go dig up a bunch of cobble and possibly some more stone. I don't have a pick yet for that sort of thing. Um, can I make a pick? No, it's still locked there. <clears throat> yeah, so unfortunately I'm going to have to use our stone axe for, and our stone shovel for that stuff, but we don't need a ton of it. So, you know, uh, I can do it. I can handle it. I can handle it, man. I can handle it. Okay. And we're going to need some more wood too, of course. Uh, all right, so we've got our, or we will, in a, a minute or so, have our hammer. So I need to go find some, I think I actually started doing some uh, digging back here, now that I think about it, for the clay. Uh, yeah, well... Yeah, I did that because eventually I figured we'd make that into a, excuse me, a garden. So I don't want to dig any deeper. So why don't we dig this section here? And then we're going to go have to have to go find some boulders or something for more stone too. Um, also, while we're working on this, let's start making some more cobblestone. Oh shit. Is it just you, Marlene? Anybody else coming? Okay, I think we're good. I'm not at the point yet where I'm 100% comfortable being out here at night <laughs> with our current, uh, you know, gear and level and stuff, but as long as it's just like one Zeke at a time and it's not something really nasty like a biker, we should be fine. We can take a few hits now, too, because we have a full set of armor, even though it is just cloth armor, but still, it's something. And 
Tom Clark's attention. Oh shit, we got three skill points. Okay, we gotta... We gotta look into that. Come on, give me some honey. Oh man. Alright. Uh... Tell you what... Let's hunker down here for a second. Um... This would be a very good time for us to take mother load, so let's do that. And then... What did I say we were going to work on next? I think we were going to work on strength so we could get Pummel Pete. Oh, no, no, no. We were going to work on getting Machine Gunner up. Uh, at least to the next level. So, yeah. Let's do that and then that. So, 20% more damage, 10% faster fire rate, 50% faster reload. And find more parts and ammo, 7.62 ammo specifically, in loot. Okay, cool. Um, alright, so, you know what, since this iron is right here, I'm actually going to grab some of it, too. And we'll get some chrysanthemum, too. Another Ronnie McDonnie. Nice. Okay, that's enough iron for now. Uh, we are going to need some wood, too. Let's hit a couple trees. Okay, to make an iron hatch, uh, do we need ingots or... Yeah, we need ingots. We need tin. And probably need ingots, too. Uh, repair it, too. Okay, let's head on back. Okay, we're going to stick um, most of this iron in here and all of that clay. And um, we'll make some ingots when the time comes. And while we're waiting for that to happen, let's... Uh, Head on back to the church and start doing some upgrading. Okay, so they've actually punched a hole through here. Um, I'm not so sure, though, that I trust that that spiral staircase to, to do the trick. So, let's make an easier way for them to get up there. Okay. So that gives them a more sure way to get up to us from there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out this trim piece and put another block in here. It, you know what? It could be that they just plain don't know they can path on this. That would seem unlikely, but I don't know, man. Okay, let's get this upgraded. I'm not going to upgrade the rafters and this stuff to cobble until we have our chamber for upgraded first. That's more important. Okay. Um, so let's go see if we can pull another zombie in here. There's a, oh, there's a deer. I'll probably make an easier way for myself to get up here. You know, like maybe put a ladder out in the back or something. Um, all right, so what we want to do is we want to 
get these blocks upgraded to cobble for sure. Um, I might even do like those first couple too, because that's a potential place for them to congregate. There we go. Okay. Let's get that upgraded. I think we'll do these as well. Oh, I guess I already did that one. Now these blocks, I'm just going to upgrade to wood because we won't have to worry about like cop spit or anything like that on board seven. Jeez, I hope not. All right. Um. All right. We needed to finish this too, so let's get that done. Okay, so the roof is our fallback, and even maybe beyond the roof, we could do the um, the steeple. Okay, yeah, we can. We can stand here. So this is our final fallback, our second fall, secondary fallback, if they manage to get on the roof, which it just occurred to me that they could easily manage to get up here if we don't break this out. <laughs> yeah, we probably better do that. And we'll block that off too, just to discourage anybody from jumping up here. Okay. So, let's get back down here. And, uh... Let's put, like, a little... Oh, actually, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's get the rest of this upgraded. Here we got ourselves a little running horde. chance we could talk them into pathing over here to us. Hey dummies. I don't really want to waste ammo right now. Okay, so some of them are coming in. Okay, that guy's going up the ladder. But he's not coming across the rafters. Oh, that's, that's a bummer. All right, well, I guess the only way I'm going to make this work is if I change the rafters to actual blocks. Um, because I don't, because they're obviously, they obviously don't see these rafters as a, a path. Oh, shit. Where did, how the hell did she get up here? What? How did she get up here? I mean, seriously. Oh! They, oh, they got a way up on the roof! Oh, shit! What is their way up here? Well, it's a damn good thing that this horde came by now, or I would have been screwed on Horde Knight. Hmm, okay, that's a bit of a problem. It's a sizable horde. drop for me. How about some 762s? Oh, but we'll take that stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a damn good thing that horde came by. I totally never would have even considered this. Uh, Alright, so 
to fix that issue, what we're going to need to do is block off. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to remove this floor here and remove the spiral stairs so they can't get up into this little section. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I, I count that as fortunate. I guess the good Lord was watching out for us because um, had we not had that little test there, <laughs> I would not have considered that at all, and Horde Knight would have been a bust from the go, including Life 3. Jeez. Okay. So, <laughs> dang, man. I was, like, so confused. Like, how the hell did they get up there? But now we know. Let's see. We got another point, and I also burned up most of my ammunition. Um, you know, the trader did reset, though, and I got, well, I don't got that much money. Could probably buy some if we had to. But uh, we got another point, so let's see. What do we want to put that into? How about if we... Uh, pain tolerance would be good. But uh, if we go back to strength. Okay, we already have three points in strength. So... If we if we had a decent club, I'd put it in Pummel Pete right now, but we don't. So I think what I'm going to do is put it, this into 69er. So we can break blocks faster and be a little more effective with mining. Okay. That fixes that problem. Whew. Boy. All right. So the only way that this is going to really work well for us, I think, is I'm going to have to make actual a, a block pathway uh, over to us. Um, and I'm going to have to probably go get some more wood, too. All right, guys. So, yeah, yeah that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make an actual regular square block pathway all the way over to us, but we'll still follow the same general idea, the obstacle course idea, uh, to get us over to here. And then... I think uh, for outside here, um, I'll make myself a, a little ladder, you know, easier to get up there so I don't have to walk across the rafters myself. Actually, though, if we're going to make turn those into normal blocks, that's not going to be a big deal anyways. And I'll get that all fixed up, and then depending upon how our time goes, we might uh, go do our next job in the next episode. Uh, or, if, you know, if we don't have enough time, then I'll probably just start the next episode uh, when the Horde Night itself starts. Uh, but before I let you go, let's actually go see uh, what the trader has in stock because he has reset today. And I could also run all the way up to Trader Hugh and check him too, but that's something, of course, I would do off camera because I'll take too long. Okay. Doo do to do to you to two to two. That was dumb, huh? Uh sneaking you always land. Oh we already know that one. Okay. Sneaking over trash. So this those are the same ones he had last time. Maybe he just always has those. Uh but he doesn't have any seven six twos, which kind of sucks. He does have a nice green level wooden ooh and he's got a baseball bat too. Thing is, is I only have 473 coin. We'll probably end up buying this baseball bat, though. Um, but we're going to have to do the next job for him and get some money first. If we ain't got what you're looking for, we can get it. Okay, guys. Well, I believe that is going to wrap up this episode. So, like I said, I'll keep working on uh, getting those rafters fixed up. I need to, I need to cut some more wood. And then um, I'll bring you back in the next episode. We'll either do the job first and then do the Horde Knight or just do the Horde Knight, depending upon how our time goes. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.